So I've got this reputation of being blunt and to the point, which can make you unpopular and popular in equal measures. So at the risk of being unpopular, let me talk about mock shock, which is something that really irritates me. Mock shock, I don't know if I've just invented the term. Mock shock is something that we see in abundance when an atrocity happens. Now, let me rephrase that. When an atrocity that the mainstream media picks up on actually happens. Because the irony of it is, the mock shock is only geared towards a commercial atrocity. Chances are, most of the people who deliver the mock shock aren't even aware of even a fraction of all the other atrocities which happen in the world on a daily, weekly basis, in any week of any month of any year. Take the most recent one. Uh, uh, and the mock shock comes from uh, a number of sources. The obvious ones are the hashtags. Pray for, insert town, city, country of origin. The irony of it is, I'm not religious as such, but am I going to be praying to the same people that these people committing the atrocities are praying to? Because that's not a God I want to pray to. But I digress. And I, I should point out at this point, I've got no political agenda or affiliation or no religious one. I just have a problem with the shallow insincerity of the mock shock that is everywhere. So you get thousands, thousands, if not millions of these pray for, and it's it's almost like a young person's phenomenon. And you could say I'm generalizing a bit, and maybe I am, because I've got no real stats to back it up other than my own eyes. But generally, the people that with the hashtags are mostly, not all, but mostly sort of under the age of 30. And it's people who think, oh, God, oh it's terrible what's happened in, insert atrocity in whichever town, city or country. Oh, we've got to we've got to have a hashtag because it's cool and trendy, and it makes us look like we're all together and 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 flying the flag for decency. And if we want to go one stage further, let's have a an over the top cover photo of the flag of the country that's been uh, affected by the atrocity. And it seems to me that these people are are the um, the easily distracted younger generation. So, oh no, it's it, it's absolutely terrible what happened in that country. And I'm going to change my flag and oh look a butterfly. Ah, oh, what was it talking about? Oh yeah, Pokemon. Yeah, let's. It, it's laughable, and you see it all the time. And it, it, I, the, what I don't get is is why I, I can only presume it's it's some kind of narcissistic thing that people think. Oh, I want as many people as possible to see me being in mock shock, so it kind of makes me look popular and, and endearing. And it does nothing. It does almost as much as leaders, whether it be world leaders, community leaders, leaders in general, coming out in public condemning the perpetrators of said atrocities. It's like, well, we rightly and fully and wholeheartedly condemn the actions of. You can just imagine it, can't you? Here we've got a group of no-gooders going to commit some atrocity with murder and death on their mind and they're driving along or running along or flying or whatever their mode of transportation is and all of a sudden it's like, whoa, stop the car, stop, whoa, whoa, stop, what, what's happened, what's happened? We've been condemned again. Oh, do, do you know what? I was just, a, I was looking forward to going out and causing some mass mayhem but condemned again, bollocks. Part the car, we're going home. It, you see what I mean? It does nothing. It's the most pointless shallow thing it's like people going on tv going to the media having it in written form we condemn it does nothing now i don't know what the answer is to be honest i don't i'm not suggesting well if you want to make a difference you've got to sign up for the secret sas and turn into a batman style vigilante and go in undercover and i don't i don't know what it is i know what the answer is not it's not pretending to be so outraged that you're going to create hashtags and make all these so-called bold statements uh, because you've seen it online or you've seen a bit on the news. And you can guarantee the majority of these people, again, not all, won't even know a fraction of the things, the other things that are happening on any given week in, in the world. And I'm sure if you spent five minutes with Amnesty International or an international human rights uh, lawyer or an expert on the subject, they could fill you in on a, a number of things which happen all the time. But it's interesting how we focus on the only things that we see. And some people say, well, we don't know other things that are going on because we don't see them. So it's a case, of, it's like being a sheep. We're only taking an interest in what we're fed, which makes it even more shallow. 
because we know other stuff's going on, but it's like, well, it's out of sight, out of mind. We'll, we'll just, you know, oh, look, there's a butterfly. I'm easily distracted again. I just think if you want to make a difference, there's got to be other ways. There's got to be something more sincere, more tangible than just going hashtag pray for, hashtag we're with you, hashtag don't give up or whatever. Uh, I, I don't know what it is. Uh, again, I'm not coming up with answers. It's more anti-answers. You know, it, it's like when you go back to 9-11, there was, uh, you know, rightfully so, there was a, a sense of community, uh, certainly in New York, but around the world, you had people flying the Union Jack saying, it's terrible, it's, we won't be beaten, we, wa- we won't do this, we won't... And the same people that were flying the flags were the same people refusing to fly to the US because they were scared of what might happen, thus pushing the economy towards recession. The same people that were saying, yeah, we'll fly the flag and we won't change how we are, but by the way, we're, we're a bit worried about the financial state, so quick, sell our shares in US companies, pushing the country towards recession. The point is, it's all very superficial. Flying flags, pray for, uh, don't give up, we are with you, we condemn you, but it's not tangible. It, it, it's, not, it's not real. It's fake. It is mock shock. And again, it doesn't matter what your religious angle is. It doesn't matter what who you vote for. It's got nothing to do with politics or religion. It, it's just, it's a sincerity thing. It's a lack of sincerity thing. And uh, stop it. Just stop. Just, just, just please don't. Because it's, it's, it's rubbish. It does nothing. Okay? So, on that note, happy weekend.